Hello, and welcome to the section of the Differential Equations Tutor. Uh, in this section, it is a very long, wordy title. We call it Homogeneous Linear Differential Equations with Constant Coefficients and Real Roots. Uh, so basically, this section is going to be the first section where we're really going to be able to solve a large class of higher order differential equations. You know, volume one of the differential equations tutor pretty much focused on first order uh, equations, which really just means you have, you know, a first derivative in there. Uh, obviously, this whole DVD course here is about second order and higher, and this section is the first technique, broad class technique, where we're really going to be able to solve a large class of problems of higher order differential equations. So once we teach you the method for this certain class of differential equations that we're, we're going to study here, you'll be able to apply it to first order equations, second order equations, third order, fourth order, and so on. It could have 17 derivatives in it, uh, or 17th derivative. If it uh, follows the form of what we're going to outline here, then you're going to be able to use this method. So it's an incredibly powerful section here is what we're getting into. Now, the real roots that's in the title, just, just kind of hang on to that for a second in your mind. I'll tell you what that means in a minute. If I try to explain that part of it now, it'll just confuse you. So basically, don't forget, differential equations is a mind game where what you're really doing is trying to identify what class of an equation you have and then apply the technique for that class. So that's pretty much all we've been doing up until now. And then we've done some theoretical work in the first few sections of this class where we've talked about linear independence of solutions and things like that. So now we're ready to roll up our sleeves and study the solution class. So let me go ahead and outline it in kind of as you might see it in textbook. I'll try to condense it a little bit so we're not writing too much here. And then we're going to start working a bunch of problems. And the good news I can tell you with sincerity, like seriously, it's not hard. This section is not hard. So, and it's a huge class of problems that you can solve very easily with this method. So, what we're studying here is homogeneous ordinary differential equations, ODE, right, with constant, that's a constant, coefficients. I'll put a colon here, real roots. All right, so I'm wetting your appetite. Uh, probably have a lot of questions. What's he talking about? Real roots and all this stuff. Basically, you know, we've been talking about linear equations for a while. You know how to recognize if an equation is linear. You know how to recognize if it's homogeneous. Homogeneous is the simpler related equation when you take basically the right-hand side of the equal sign, which is your forcing function that's driving the system, your function of time, right? And you just set it equal to zero. So we've kind of talked about homogeneous equations, and so what we're going to do now is learn how to solve every equation in this section is going to be homogeneous. And that's the general methodology for the rest of the class. We're going to learn how to solve these homogeneous equations really well, and then later on we're going to start to solve non-homogeneous equations, you know, when you actually have that forcing function there. And you'll find that knowing this is absolutely essential for you uh, to understand how to solve the uh, non-homogeneous versions, right? So that's what we're going to learn here. So when we say homogeneous ordinary differential equation, you know what that means. Constant coefficients. That means, if you remember back to the definition of, of a linear equation, then in front of your derivatives you can have, uh, you can have, you know, we called them a1, a2, a3 and so on in front of all these derivatives. And those, uh, those guys were allowed to be functions of, in, in this case, in, uh, functions of time. Because all of the differential